Let's take a look at a seamless way to get your data from Redis Open Source to Redis Enterprise once you are ready to upgrade. This migration method provides zero downtime using Redis Enterprise's replica of feature. Before we dive in, let's take a look at what's on screen. The right side, we have a tab open where we will use Redis Enterprise's UI. The top left is a terminal for our source database or the Redis open source database. The bottom left is a terminal for our target database or our Redis Enterprise database. Note that I've already preloaded some data into our Redis open source database. One of the first challenges you might run into is getting these databases to connect. Um, depending on your firewall rules, um, it's, this could take a little bit of a different route, but one of the ways I like to overcome this challenge is going to the redis.conf file on our Redis Enterprise database and binding the internal IP address for our Redis open source database. I also like to turn off the protected mode. This doesn't really worry me very much because I'm using a GCP VM. I have a VPC with firewall rules set up already, so we should be good. A quick way you can check to see whether you can get your databases to connect and communicate with each other is by running a command just to connect with the CLI. Um, so we'll ping that. Looks like we're connected. Ping, pong, we're getting a response. Perfect, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and set up our Redis Enterprise database. We can access the Redis Enterprise UI by going to HTTPS and then the external IP address of our Redis Enterprise node, followed by the port 8443, which is our Redis Enterprise UI port. We'll go and accept these page certificates. We'll go ahead and click Setup. The only thing that we have to do here is name our cluster or join a cluster if you already have one. Gives us another chance to enter in a cluster key. I don't have one. Now let's set up our admin credentials. Once you have created your credentials for your Redis Enterprise database, you may have to accept those page certificates again. Uh, but once you get here, let's go ahead and create our database. We'll go ahead and put in our database name. I'm also going to increase the memory limit so that it'll fit the initial load coming in for our, our migration. Let's go ahead and hit the show advanced options. And we're looking for the replica of option here. So we'll enable that. And what we need to do now is add in the endpoint for the Redis open source node. So we'll click plus, we'll add in the Redis open source node plus the port uh, 6379, which is our default Redis open source port. We'll go ahead and click save. You'll notice that there are there is another add button here. This indicates that we can have multiple source databases loading in and replicating into our Redis Enterprise database. We'll go ahead and click activate. Perfect, we are up and running. We are currently synced, which is perfect. What we can do now is go into metrics. And if we give it just a moment, we'll be able to see those keys and data coming in. All right, it's been a couple seconds now. Uh, the initial load is in, and now we're just replicating our Redis open source database to our Redis enterprise database. And we can leave this open indefinitely. This is certainly a very common option for those that um, have phased migrations for data you need to get it into a real-time database like Redis Enterprise, but it, it's really quite easy to stop it as well. You just go back to our configuration tab and then click stop. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this quick lightning demo and we'll see you in the next one.